Understanding this little concept could drastically improve the contact when you swing your irons. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And when we swing the club back in the backswing, the club head, okay, has a certain weight and feel to it. And believe it or not, that little feel of light or heavy, feather or brick can drastically impact what you're doing. So when we see the club back, we're going to talk today about the position when the golf swing, when the club, and excuse me, the lead arm is in, the, in a parallel position, parallel to the ground, and the club is relatively hinged. One of the core concepts of our vertical line swing coaching program. So let me first of all just show you the difference between the two, then I'll talk about which one is right. And best part is, of course, this is why you come, right? I'm going to show you a drill on how to do it. So when I swing the club back, I got two different positions. Let me show you the heavy one first, the brick. This is the brick feel. When I go back, the club head is low like that. Everybody, can, can you see that right there? See where the club head is at? It's low, and in my hands, specifically in my wrist, it feels very heavy. Let me hit a shot, okay? This might be a little ugly, Nick, so back up. Here we go, it's heavy. I don't like even making a practice swing like that because it gives me the heebie-jeebies because you know where that ball lots of times goes? Four right, shank bill. All right, so if you're shanking it, we've done a ton of videos on shank. Don't like to say the word, but that would be a good place to look. Now, the opposite to that would be light or feather. So when I swing the club back, boom, when the club is in this position, it feels very light. Let me go ahead and make a golf swing there so you can see it in action. Here we go. I'm gonna go feather, light. Oh, wow. That felt good. Okay, now why is that important? Why is that important? Because this actually also ties into over the top, slicing, off the heel, four right shot. We talked a little bit about that already. But when the club in the backswing is in a heavy position, what that is telling you is, is that the club is out of balance. Okay, when the club is out of balance, it feels heavy, all right? And when the club is out of balance, this is out of balance because it feels heavy like a brick, the club wants to find balance. So let's walk through this. Bear with me. Walk through this. If you're subscribed to our channel, you know we're getting somewhere. It might take us a little bit, but we're getting there, right? So when the club goes back and it's heavy, but it wants to find balance, where do you think this club, and if you know, put it in the comments, where is this club when it's heavy and it wants to find balance, where do you think it's going to go? It's going to go there, right? Okay, so I'm doing this as so watch. Here we go. I'm going back. It's heavy. I'm exaggerating it. I know all my, all my avid golfers out there, you know I'm exaggerating it, right? My experienced golfers, you know who you are, okay? Right there is heavy, right? When I start down with my hands, the club is going to want to rebalance and it's i.e. out across or over the top. So I didn't really even plan on talking about that today, but one of the reasons you could be slicing it, hitting on the hosel, okay, is because of that particular backswing. Now on the opposite, I'm not advocating this, but on the opposite, if the club head was over here, okay, we're gonna talk about where we wanna be in the drill in a second. If the club is over here, okay, and I start my hands forward, where does the club wanna go? It wants to rebalance again, it wants to drop. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit a shot one more time, then we're gonna, we're gonna talk about a drill here. So here we go. Heavy brick, no good. Feather light, good, here we go. Boom, not bad, a little thin, a little thin on that, but you can see the difference in the back scene. So if you haven't done this one, hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Nick and I and Jordan, Justin, the whole team, we're working hard, man. Working hard to put out good content. We love doing it, we love hearing from you, you know me. I love my experienced golfers out there. You know who you are, and I love hearing where you're from. It's one of my favorite things to do in the morning. So do me a favor, subscribe, tell us where you're from, give us some suggestions on what you want us to do. Nick, give him a thumbs up because you want to see that. There he is. There's my man Nick behind the camera. All right. So what is a drill that we could do to help us with that? Well, this is an oldie. Been around. I didn't invent it. I don't even know who invented it. Doesn't matter. Okay. But here's how it works. You're just going to take your regular setup, and then I'm going to give you a, uh, before we leave here today, I'm going to give you a setup tip that can promote this motion. But the drill is this. When you're set in here, okay, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna hinge the club up. See that? Hinge it up, turn, swing. Let me hit a shot. Okay, let me hit a shot. Here we go. Set up, here we go. Hinge, turn, shot. That was pretty solid. 
Although that was a range ball and it really whiffled out there. <laughs> Nick's laughing because that thing was like all over the map. But, but the swing was solid and the contact was solid. So the opposite of that would be not to hinge it up, but to hinge it back. You would never do that, right? So here we go. Hinge it up, hinge, turn, shot. All right, so that's the drill. Now, what is something that you could do in your setup that could promote that? All right, well, let me grab a driver here. Let me show you something. This is, oh man, I'm, this, this is an exciting video. I hope you're liking this because I'm getting a little off the script here. I'm making Nick nervous because I'm getting off the script, but this is good information I got to share with you. So there's two things in your setup you got to look for. One is hand position, but the other thing is grip. We've done some great videos on grip. It's one of the core, it's the first chapter in the new book, The Bad Lie, that we just put out, Amazon, top seller. We're super proud of that. You can find that on Amazon, on our website, usgolftv.com, all those places, Bad Lie Golf. All right, it's there as well. But the grip, if you don't position the club correctly in your hands, if you get the club too much in your palm, you're gonna wanna roll the club and it's gonna get heavy. I don't have time to talk about all the grip stuff. If you're a subscriber, you already know how to grip the golf club. If not, check out that video. But the second thing is in your setup. When you set up, I want you to feel like your hands are lower and the butt end of the club, okay, the butt end of the club points down kind of by your belt buckle. See that? If the hands go higher, okay, you're gonna be more prone to rolling the club around. The lower the hands are, the more you will wanna hinge it up if you have a good solid grip. So when we're set in there and we're swinging the golf club, we know we want the club to be light, not heavy. So I'm gonna get my grip, my 45 degree grip, one of the cornerstones of our coaching program, the vertical line swing, okay? I got it there, I'm gonna lower the hands. I'm gonna feel the club light going back. Here we go. Oh yeah, best one of the day right there. So, do the club be light like a feather or heavy like a brick? You know the answer to that question now.